Hi, everyone. Diane uh, Willock with Super Moms in the U.S., Customer Success Coach. And I'm joined again with uh, Maria uh, Stanford, who is also our Customer Success in EMEA. And today we're going to be talking about why to learn Salesforce consultancy skills and answering some of your questions. So I think we'll just, you know, start off and maybe explain a little bit more about, you know, the importance of those Salesforce consultancy skills, what actually you learn when you're learning those consultancy skills and just why, you know, those skills might be beneficial to you no matter where you are on your Salesforce journey. So I don't know, Maria, if you want to start off or you want me to start off, um, I can... It's yeah, I, I don't mind. I can go first if you like. Um, so certainly I kind of think consultancy skills, as you said, they are important really at any stage in the journey, isn't it? And I think it's really important to highlight that because actually having those consultancy skills, they're those softer skills that we can really utilize to build our confidence mm -hmm. um, when we are kind of in lots of different environments, but specifically around consulting. Certainly, I would say, you know, on um, on the consultancy side, kind of that communication is going to be key. So being able to gather all of those requirements and communicate them and communicate bec between um, key stakeholders is a really important part of that role. Mm -hmm. um, so being able to effectively communicate um I would say is a is a top one. Um, being able to manage change management. Now, people don't particularly like change, right? right. <laughs> um, yeah, and, and that's it happens it. So, all the time, right? But it happens all the time. So exactly, they say the only the only um, constant thing is change. Yeah. But we right. all don't particularly like it, and we're not particularly comfortable with going through change. So certainly, if you're looking at change management, that's really important to be able to you know, again, kind of work through that change with key stakeholders, with end users, um, kind of, you know, being able to make sure that any of that implementation of that project, um, everybody's happy with and, you know, is being coached around that change so that that is a successful project at the end. Um, certainly in kind of my corporate life, I've been through lots of different okay. change, um, change right. management and CRM implementations, and it's never easy. So actually having those skills to be able to handle everybody's different opinions and mm -hmm. um, quips and you know, problems um, is really, really key. Yes, I agree. And I think building off of that, too, you know, in our consultancy skills uh, course, you know, emphasizing, um, <clears throat> you know, the agile part of that, the agile change management, which is really, you know, being flexible, right? Being flexible and being adaptable to change. And getting everybody else to see, you know, um, that flexibility and that adaptability as well as um, an agile, you know, management, it's, it's also important to be um, responsive, you know, responsive when that change happens so that you're not kind of um, falling behind. So I like that. And, and those are key skills that you can use, again, no matter where you are, if you're a Salesforce admin, this is, you know, learning those skills will be important for your job, but also moving forward, right? So going into your, your next role or your next career or just, you know, helping out with your organization. So, um, and again, uh, you know, kind of building off of that, I think some of the more important skills that you learn uh, as a consultant is Overall, just project management, right? How, learning how to, um, you know, control control that project. And the reason it's so important is it goes to, you know, minimizing minimizing your risk for your organization when you're, you know, initiating that project. Um, you know, seeing something through, right? Seeing all the stages through, being able to be involved with all the stages, maximizing your resources. Help, you know, helping to to work with others and collaboration and coordination. This is all, you know, what you learn um, when you're learning those project management skills, keeping keeping it on track and keeping the cost down, <laughs> uh, minimizing costs. That's important. And again, if you're a Salesforce admin, that's important to have, too, because you can really become that trusted source, right? That trusted advisor, that trusted source. You're seeing the overall picture of that project. Um, and it really kind of differentiates yourself as an admin, especially if you're moving up into that senior role or possibly you're going to be that solo admin in an organization. You're going to be expected to have some of those project management skills. 
Um, going along with that, I think what goes hand in hand is having those business analysis skills, right? That's so important okay. because everything is data driven. <laughs> um, so if you can be able to, to look back at your data, look at your data, understand the requirements fully um, and be able to you know, minimize your risk, minimize your mistakes because you're able to analyze that data. Um, so it goes beyond troubleshooting. It's really kind of forward thinking, looking at that data, making sure that um, you're minimizing your risk. Again, all important skills, I think, for anybody that has a role in Salesforce, but especially if you're just starting out, you know, this is a way to kind of distinguish yourself, make yourself that a trusted advisor, that person, that go-to person for Salesforce within your organization. Yeah, they're definitely kind of key. I think the key, um, the key points, aren't they, for consultancy? You know, to be able to deliver a really good project, you need all of those, all of those pieces of the puzzle. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to read something out here, Diane, because I know that um, Salesforce Ben had um, shared a post actually on LinkedIn that all of us right. saw. I mm -hmm. certainly referenced 10K in our discovery sessions. Um, yes. And I actually downloaded their report. So that was 2021. Now, obviously, they just released a new report for 2022. So a couple of points there that you actually just made. So actually, going back to that admin side, I do truly believe that, you know, if you are an admin and you're adding consultancy on as a bolt on, that's going to really start to build your confidence within yeah. that role. You don't right. necessarily have to go into consulting. Right, right. Actually having those skills are really going to help build. And actually, mm -hmm. it says here um, that there is obviously lots of opportunity for admins, um, but hiring managers are expecting admins to be more tactical and strategic. Right. So right. This is around that consultancy piece, isn't it? Of mm -hmm. kind of going, okay, what business analysis can I do to be able to right. gather all of all of those requirements? Mm -hmm. And then actually, how am I going to deliver right. the way of a project mm -hmm. on those? Um, right. exactly. you know, so it's a really brilliant skill to be able to add on as a as an admin. Mm -hmm. Um so you're you're exactly right there. And then the next point was around consultancy. So we talk a lot, don't we, about being able to niche down. And right. specialize and be the expert, don't we? Mm -hmm. Yes, um, all the time. <laughs> all, all the time. All and, the time. And right. That's it. And it is a way where you're going to get that career progression and you're going to then be in demand potentially. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. certainly, again, from this report, consultancy, um, it does show that the demand for specialist senior roles. Um, actually does far exceed the Salesforce admin role. Mm -hmm. um, and consultancy was actually at the top at 30%. Mm -hmm. So that is a really in-demand specialist area, mm -hmm. um, you know, where there is that shortage, you know, and that is a growing area, isn't it? Yes, it's a growing area. I mean, you have they need people that are able to, again, deal with, you know, deal with all the stakeholders, be able to know how to communicate something you brought up in the beginning, communicate with the stakeholders. But I think more importantly, you're right, know the requirements, right? Um, there's so many organizations that are adapting Salesforce, continuing to grow, right? And it's going to continue to grow. Um, so where are the people that are able to implement, you know, uh, Salesforce effectively for that organization. And they're going to be thinking about costs, right? So we want to be able to have somebody in there that, can understand the requirements of that business and be able to, um, you know, adapt to that business and know the requirements, make sure that, you know, costs are effective and, um, you know, just do those business analysis of that organization. So again, yeah, it's growing. Salesforce is growing. More organizations are adopting it in the digital world. They need people that are able to understand it for the organization, customize uh, and implement it on a timely manner. Make sure that they get their ROI for that uh, Salesforce um, platform. So yes, I agree. This is, and I think you referenced in the beginning about, um, you know, moving up, you know, the corporate or moving up the ladder in your Salesforce career. You know, every time you're adding on those skills, right? That helps you to differentiate yourself and move yourself out, not, not only on you know different roles, but also with income, right? So um, yeah. it's financially uh, better for you every time you're adding on certifications and you're adding on qualifications. Absolutely, it's all about that development, isn't it, and growth and and that career progression, mm -hmm. um, which is always I find amazing is always in abundance in Salesforce, and I kind of think Diane, you know 
just touching on what you were saying there about, you know, having the return on investment. It's really important, isn't it? And I'm sure that you can testify mm -hmm. to this. I know I can. And I speak to people that are end users of Salesforce, for example, mm -hmm. um, that have gone in and they're perhaps only utilizing a small percentage small of, percent of what they could be using. You're exactly um, right. Yeah. And so to be able to actually go in and do that project management piece, mm -hmm. that business analysis is really, really important to the business, isn't it? For their growth as well. Right. To be able to utilize all those key components and really start to be able to analyze, you know, draw out that data, but also be more efficient in your day. You know, that's it's really efficient. important, right. isn't it? Mm -hmm. Not everybody is um, familiar with what capabilities it can have. It's yeah. doing that, like we talk about that, doing that health check, right, of that org and seeing, okay, where are we at? Analyzing, what are we not utilizing? What could we be utilizing? How can we, the process be smoother, better efficiencies? That's all about that. And that, um, again, whether or not you're going into consultancy, which is in very high demand, but even if you're just a Salesforce admin and you're looking to take that next step into a senior role, you're looking to be that trusted advisor for people to come to you. You're going to build your confidence if you know more about those business, you know, the business overall um, and how it operates. That's going to make you stand out and, you know, really set your future. Yeah, definitely. And I kind of think if we think about, how our consultancy course runs i love the way that it is set out because it's quite interactive isn't it with those live sessions you you kind of have breakout rooms or you know you're kind of working on that project and feeding back on a specific project um together so you're actually learning from each other aren't you as well so actually for somebody who um who is in an admin role you know right. if they come and do that consultancy course some of these will be you know some of those trainees will want to be going into consultancy or might have a bit of a consultancy background but you're learning aren't you all these different you know from all these different people right and their experiences mm -hmm. um and that's also important isn't it to gain confidence because you I might pick so up yeah, yeah. You'll pick up things along the way right and interacting with your peers learning something new learning a different side of business everybody has a new perspective yeah um and then getting those tactical skills too that just you know we talked about that just when you were um uh, noting that article by Salesforce Ben, it's like the you know we're expect their admins are going to be expected mm -hmm. to be more you know technical in their approach. You get those. We give you scripts, you know, business analysis scripts. You know how you know actual you know outlines of questions that you should be asking um, when you're you know doing a health check on a on an org. So we are we're giving you those tactical skills too. I think those are invaluable, really, because yeah. that yeah. takes a long time to build up. It takes a lot of experience and a long time to be able to to build up how, you know, what are the, my good questioning skills? How can I, you know, what are my good business analysis skills? Well, we help you along, right? So we give you, we get you started on that. Um, over years of experience, you know, that um, Heather, uh, ha, you know, has put through um, in her in her experience. So we give you some of those tactical skills that you can use right away. Um, and I think that's great. That's a great part of our consultancy course as well. Yeah. So I think over 700 projects. So, yeah. you know, there's a lot to take away from that, right. isn't there? Right. Lots of golden nuggets of information and mm -hmm. um, things, as you say, Diane, quite rightly, that would take years to kind yes. of gather that right. up and learn mm -hmm. that yourself. And generally, you're kind of learning from those mistakes, aren't you, mm -hmm. that you've perhaps mm -hmm. made? So um, learning from somebody who's already gone through that and has actually then created these um, scripts to be able to kind of do that analysis on your business is, you know, is brilliant isn't it it's an extra again an extra right. kind of tool for your toolkit that exactly. you would really have right would take a long time to gather um so if there's any questions i don't see any questions right now but we're happy to answer any questions that you might have after our broadcast or reach out to us we're very easy to find um you can find us on linkedin and reach out to us you can find us, um, you can email us at diane at supermoms.org or marie at supermoms.org. Again, if you have any questions on supermoms, our training, consultancy, you know, just to talk over what maybe might be a good path for you, right, Maria? We love talking <laughs> to people. Yeah. We like talking to people one on one because everybody's situation is unique and different. And everyone um, has, you know, goals and objectives that they want to achieve. So we kind of help talk through that and see what might be a good fit for you. Um, let's see. 
I'm going to, Maria, I'm going to put down here our, well, LinkedIn ID. I don't know if I have my LinkedIn ID handy for myself, but um, you can find us um, pretty easily if you look under Supermoms or look at our last names, Diane Willock, Maria Stanford. Um, I'm based here in the U.S. Maria is in the U.K., so you should be able to find us pretty easily on LinkedIn. Um, we did get one question. Okay. Uh, you can see this. Do you consider I can have the same job opportunities as a consultant compared with administrator roles living abroad? Um, my concerns are considering cultural aspects. Okay, so I, I'm not sure if I'm reading into this correctly, but I think what I, I'm thinking about is, is, is there going to be just as much opportunity as a consultant if you are living abroad? Um, as with administrator roles. So, um, you know, I don't know how you'd answer that, Maria. Um, yeah. But I mean, I mean, I would say it's really kind of the same as um, right. kind of looking at the administrator roles. You know, mm -hmm. we, we've seen from that that 10 K report now that actually consultancy is well in demand. Right. You know, right. It's actually um, and that's going to that's obviously growing and those skills are definitely needed. So, mm -hmm. you know, technically, yes, that should you should still have the same opportunities. It's a global, you know, it's mm -hmm. a, a global CRM and there are global job availabilities. So I think there's probably some questions to be asked around that, Diane, don't you think? Right. Around right. Kind of where perhaps you are, um, you know, what those opportunities look like, you know, who can you potentially reach out to by the way of perhaps local recruiters or you know, anybody yeah, like that that might be able to answer that. Right. And where are you going to be located? And possibly, um, I think, referring to, um, you know, if they're in a global region, maybe where, you mm -hmm. know, um, it's not their native language or something like that. Maybe they're, you know, those are things to all think about where you're going to be. Uh, but a lot of, you know, consultancy roles are also remote, correct? And you can be living anywhere globally. So um, it really just depends on, you know, who you're going to be working for and what organization or if you're doing contract and freelance work, which a lot of individuals do for uh, consultancy roles. Then again, theoretically, you can be anywhere as long as you're um, working those certain hours of whatever time zone you're working in. So, again, I think it depends. It's really specific. Um, but as Maria said, those roles are growing. So at a, at a fast rate even more so than admin, even though admin is growing at a really fast rate as well. Consultancy roles and having those consultancy skills is really growing at a fast rate too. Um, do you give Salesforce administrative training? Yes, we do. <laughs> uh, that's right. Yeah, that's really our kind of, I would say, our foundational training, right, Maria? That's where a lot of people start off. Um, they do start off with our um administrator training. And we do do that. We offer that four times a year. Um, so we have a class ongoing in November right now. Our next class will be in February 2023. So um, if you're interested in finding out more about that, I would say um, you can go to supermoms.org um, and you can look at, I'm just trying to see if that's going to, I'm not sure if I'm able to to comment right here on that, but you can go to supermoms.org and look at our training options and you'll see our administrator training courses and what we offer. Uh, we Just to say um, a brief um, just overview of what we offer on supermoms uh, or on our training, our Salesforce admin training, right, Maria? We have two different mm -hmm. options now. We have an option that is basically our ultimate package where you're going to get everything you need to know um, to be a Salesforce admin, but also get a lot of mentorship, work experience, and career supports. Um, but then we have kind of our accelerated or our essential package. That is basically our live training. You get our live training. It's only three months in length. It's more designed for individuals that are either in the Salesforce ecosystem, maybe an accidental admin, someone who needs to um, learn a little bit about more about their Salesforce system in their current role, or maybe they've you, you've gone through a lot of training already, but it's not exactly, you're not confident yet. So you might need a little overview. So that's really what our three month is for. And our ultimate package is really for someone looking to change their career, get into Salesforce, right? And someplace to start, get into technology. 
Yeah. And on the back of that, I'll just add that we also do a career boost bundle, don't we, Diane? So actually, if you come and do yeah. the administrator training with us, we actually have trainees who actually add the consultancy on. So, you know, they might not have even, um, you know, landed that first role in yeah. <laughs> the Salesforce ecosystem, but they're already, you know, ready to go and train in consultancy because they understand that that is that kind of additional skill set that is really mm -hmm. going to help them, one, stand out, and two, kind of build that confidence going into that going into that first role so we also offer a career bundle as well but you know it's best to come and chat with us and right and work through what that looks like for you and just get to know you a little bit better yeah i'm not able to comment it looks like um on this <clears throat> excuse me on the platform right now live i can't comment so just so that you know you can go to supermoms.org look at our training definitely reach out to us, um, Diane at supermoms.org, Maria at supermoms.org. Um, we can set up a time to talk. It really, you know, can fit around your time schedule. We all kind of work different hours and try to be flexible to be able to talk to individuals that are interested. It's the best way to learn um, what you need to, right? If you can talk to somebody, because oftentimes I find that you could be reading through all the materials and everything sounds great. You're learning about it. But every time I talk to someone live, there's always new questions that come up or particular uh, items that they didn't quite understand enough about. They just need more information on. And it helps to talk to a live person. <laughs> it makes it more real. That's what I always like to say. It makes it more real when you talk to one of us because we're on the other end and um you know we've been through this before we've talked to all of our trainees most of our trainees that sign up for our program we've talked to personally right yes. and we we've, we've helped them in their situation so it does help to talk to somebody live it's such a great privilege isn't it to be able to speak to people and hear their stories and you know talk about what that career transition means to them mm -hmm. and what it can actually bring to them and and you know by the way of career progression but also their families and you mm -hmm. know on a personal level it's it is incredible isn't it and it is. i know that we both get it but you just said just before we got to the call that somebody had said oh, i'm so pleased that i'd spoken to you right. um right because it is that you know i think when you're working through it you can then understand kind of actually the benefits of coming to train with us um yep. and you get a little flavor of what super moms is about <laughs> right right i think that's what you know they miss that personal touch sometimes yeah. we're also used to you know opening up emails or seeing um you know seeing something on social media but then when you actually get to talk to somebody and, you know, yes, we're here, we work at Super Moms. And let me tell you all about the stories and the people I've met that gets someone excited yeah. um, and they can relate to it. It brings it down to a more personal level to realize that I think what I hear a lot from individuals that are thinking about training is I don't know if this is for me. I, you know, I'm from a completely different industry. I've never been in IT. I don't really know what Salesforce is. And then when we have more, um, you know, more of a conversation, they understand. I talk to them about all the other trainees that have gone before them, where they've come from, all the different industries, um, you know, whether or not they have families or if they're, you know, um, living and, you know, or moving around, whatever their situation is, there's always someone that they can relate to. So we know those stories personally and we can tell them, you know, about those stories and it starts to make a little more sense. It starts to become okay you know, I can probably do this. Uh, you know, people in your training class are going to be just like you. There's going to be someone that has your story. Um, and I think that's the best thing about it is you, you have that current, cur you know, that community um, with you when you're training. That's so true, Diane, because I think when we feel like somebody else has done it before us, we know right. that potentially we can go and do it. Right. And I think that's so nice, isn't it? It pulls everybody along and um, inspires, you know, inspires everybody. We do have some wonderful success stories. So right. Right. Um, I always feel grateful sharing them. And I'm always inspired on a daily basis speaking to everybody. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. Everybody's mm -hmm. journeys and, and where they're at. Yep. Good. All right. I don't think we have any more questions, but again, we're, we, we will go back and look through okay. and see if we have any questions. Do not feel, um, you know, do not hesitate again to reach out to us. We love to talk to everyone. We'd like to be able to understand your situation and try to figure out if there is a solution and a way that super moms can help with your goals, um, whatever those might be in the Salesforce ecosystem. Even if you don't really, maybe this is the first time you're learning about Salesforce. Um, I know sometimes you might be hesitant to reach out because 
you don't really know about Salesforce and you don't really know what it is. What does a Salesforce career mean? We can talk to you about that. What is a Salesforce career and would it be a good fit for you? Um, if you're just even thinking about getting into technology, I get this a lot too. Um, you know, technology is ever changing. People want to know the latest and the greatest. If you've never been in technology before and you're wondering, how do I get into technology? Salesforce is a good entry into technology. So, um, and learning it is is really the key. So we can help you understand that and, and help you understand what your career progression might look like. So great. Anything else? Any closing thoughts here? <laughs> <laughs> closing, closing thoughts. Closing thoughts from me are, if you want to build confidence, yeah. go and seek out those consultancy skills because it really does allow you to kind of walk into a role or go for that next career, um, that next career progression with confidence and a really good full toolkit um, mm -hmm. that's going to really help you in that next stage. And we should talk about our next consultancy skills course is coming up in January. Um, so we will have our first consultancy of 2023 in January. So be thinking about that. Um, if you're looking to add on those consultancy skills, it'll go by really quick. Obviously, the winter, the you know holidays coming up, it'll go by quick. But we'll start in January, start the new year off right, add those consultancy skills on. Um, we have one more late question just to answer, I think, before we jump off, and that is, getting a job um, after super mom's training if you have no experience? And that's a good question because we have a lot of individuals that start training that maybe have been off work for a while, right? Or don't have that job experience, but I guarantee you have some experience. <laughs> There's some transferable skills there, no matter what you've had, whether you've gone to um, you know, university or college or school, you have some transferable skills or just life experience that you've had will definitely give you some transferable skills. And yes, our course is really designed to take you from kind of zero to a hundred, right? Learning yes. um, the system and we give you the tools you need to be able to transi transition into that job. It's an in, on an individual basis. That's why we like to talk to everybody and say, okay, what's your situation? You know, what can we do to help you? And how can we put you in a good situation to be able to get that job? Yeah, definitely. We help you with that support and that retraining and all of those pieces of the puzzle to be able to get you job ready to go and take that next step then yourself. So you don't have to have um, necessarily that technical experience, as Diane said previously, because there will be those transferable skills that we can pull out and then kind of match a mirror um, you know, that's going to suit within that ecosystem. So, you know, certainly um, we have super mums that, that go and do it. We have trainees that do it. So um, there's no reason why you can't as well. And that's what it is about looking at other people that have walked that path, isn't it? Right, right. Yeah. And be able to do that. I've gone before you. Do we have some like happy music in the background? <laughs> I think that's me. I think I like, is that me. time for us to close down? <laughs> I think so. I think so. I feel like that was like a, a carnival ride, like a merry-go-round or something. Like that none in the of, background. I'm like, where are you? I have come to save me to turn it off. <laughs> I'm thinking like, she's going okay. to turn it off in a minute. I'm sure that they will. They're, they just, know, they just know that you're talking, right? They're, you're always talking. So they're like, we don't need to save her. We're fine. That's a, yeah, I don't need saving. No, no, but no, they have. They've, they've just turned it off for me. So that's very kind of them. <laughs> well, that was nice. It was kind of like happy music. So It was. It was. Um, it's a nice way to end. <laughs> so great. We will be here again. Actually, um, yeah, we're here every week for lives and we like to answer your questions. So definitely leave any more questions for us on any of our social media channels. Find us on LinkedIn, Facebook, reach out to us personally and ask your questions, schedule time to talk with us. We'd be happy to understand your unique situation and see if super moms might have a solution for you. So, um, that's it. Have a great, wonderful day. Have a good Wednesday. Thanks, Thanks so for much, Diane. All right. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.